So we obviously, as most people probably know by now, is, is that we had a very, very tragic year last year in 2023 when it came to things related to the job market. And you guys can feel free to leave a comment down what it was like for you guys, because the idea really is that as most people know is, is that last year, about 260,000 people were were laid off in just the tech industry. So we're just talking about the tech industry, which is one of the most vibrant growing industries that you would normally think of, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be full of jobs and vibrancy and everything going on. Yet at the same time, 260,000 people in just that one industry were laid off. So this doesn't even include a lot of people in a lot of the other industries. So for example, in my situation outside of this, I happen to work in the TV, film and entertainment industry, and we suffered a lot of strikes last year where almost nobody was employed for a period of time because all of the projects were shut down for several months for the better part of most of 2023. And the big idea really is that in today's video, what I really want to talk about is the fact that there are now even more layoffs that have now just been announced. But I also want to maybe go into even greater detail to talk about the future of our country in general and really talk about whether or not even more mass layoffs are expected to come in the near future beyond the ones that we're gonna talk about that have already been announced in a lot of major tech companies because this is going to be very, very massive. We obviously had a very, very difficult year last year when it came to things such as like high interest rates, a falling stock market for the first half at least. I know I know the stock market recovered near the second half, but for the first half at least, a falling stock market, high interest rates, record inflation, a recession, smaller profit margins, businesses struggling, and then of course all of this leading to the massive layoffs, which is really what the topic of this video and most of what we talk about is really about. So with that being said, let's just get right to this video. But as always, if you guys enjoy videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get this video started. So we're going to start by talking a little bit about which companies are now starting to lay off or have just recently announced massive layoffs uh, in the very, very near future. And then we're going to talk and maybe end this video by talking more about the overall direction of where we're headed when it comes to the job market. So to start off is that this article here really highlights about three of the major companies that are now announcing layoffs recently, which is going to be in Amazon, Google and Duolingo. So for Amazon in their particular case, they own many, many sub companies and sub projects that they're currently working on. But with an Amazon Twitch, which is a streaming site, has plans now to cut about 500 workers. While that sounds very, very small in number, Twitch is not a particularly big project, at least big compared to a lot of the other projects that you think typically would think they would take on. Uh, because I know Twitch is obviously very big, but I mean like as big as the other projects that they typically do. It represents about 35% of its staff. That's a lot of people. And again, this is just one department within Amazon. Audible and Prime Video at MGM Studios are planning to cut another couple hundred workers. So when you factor that in, it's expected that Amazon has essentially announced that they're about to cut about another thousand or so workers from their company across multiple different sectors that exist within it. Google is now also expected that they have now announced that they're going to be cutting about several hundred employees as well, but specifically in their engineering and hardware department. So these are like massive departments inside of their company, which makes up a very, very big percentage that of people that are working jobs that you normally would think should be and are actually still very much to this day, very, very stable. But at the end of the day, when economic times are difficult, you can still lose your job even so. And then afterwards, Duolingo, which is the language company some of you guys probably might even already use as well, because I know I've also played around with Duolingo as well. Uh, they're expected to cut about 10% of its contractors, relying now on AI to produce a lot of its content. So right now at this time in Duolingo, there are no full-time workers that are going to be impacted, which is the really, really good news. However, if you are a contractor at Duolingo, you will potentially be impacted. But contracting life to begin with was never really fully stable for most of us. And I speak as someone that was a contractor for a pretty big period of my life, being in the entertainment industry. But that's really just the nature of what's going on right now. Other layoffs are that in Discord, so the company Discord, which is, you know, the, the, the company that does like the chatting services and stuff, they're expected to cut about 17% of its workforce or about 170 employees or so. Unity is going to cut about 20, 
5% of its workforce or about 1,800 to 2,000 employees or so. So that's a lot of different people. And when you add up the fact that these are amounts that are coming from just very, very individual companies, when you stack them on together, you were talking about several tens of thousands of employees announced that they're going to be laid off in the relative near future as I'm making this video in January of 2024 and likely into February of 2000. I would say this video probably will have about a two, three month time, time span life. So into about February, March of 2024. And maybe for just some perspective is, is that last year we saw about 260,000 people laid off in total in the tech industry, but about 305,000 people laid off across a lot of the other industries. So not every industry, because there's some industries that are kind of in the borderline, you know, kind of vague territory, but across a lot of other industries, over 300,000 people were laid off last year. And this is just an estimate. So you guys can feel free to leave your comment about any personal thoughts about this. But it also stated in a lot of articles right here, that about one year ago, this month, we saw about 12,000 workers laid off and Meta and Microsoft saw another 10,000 people laid off each. So 10,000 in Microsoft, 10,000 in Meta. These workers one year ago in January of 2023 were laid off. So the idea really is that right now at this current time, the bad news is, is that we are still seeing a lot of layoffs. The good news is, is that the layoffs are still not as tragic as the layoffs of this exact a magnitude one year before today. So in other words, is, is that we still saw a lot more layoffs in January of 2023, which is exactly one year ago, than we are seeing in January of 2024, which is right now in present current day. And the idea maybe is to talk about, um, maybe to move on to talk about the significance about this is, is that the layoffs, the idea really, is that they're expected to continue. That's probably the not so good news to really be able to share about this. Um, but the good news is, is that we are already starting to see a massive recovery down the road. So the idea really is that at this current time, and maybe just now just ta talking a little bit about some personal thoughts about this situation, is that it is expected right now at this current time that yes, we are going to see layoffs continue, that's probably the not so good news to share. But the brighter news to share is, is that while we are starting to see layoffs, or not starting, but we are continuing to see layoffs continue, the amount of people getting laid off may not be as bad as it was last year. So in other words, it's still bad, but it's getting better or less bad. And I think that's really at least some brighter hopeful news to really put out there. So the idea really behind this is, is that right now at this time, and you can kind of see it inside of your economy as well, and there are so many things happening in our economy right now. As most people know, is this inflation is at record highs, businesses are struggling, interest rates are still high, we're in a high interest rate environment. That means it's harder to borrow money, that means it's harder for businesses that run on loans to pay back their loans. It means it's gonna impact their profit margins, which means all of this stuff is gonna cause a lot of businesses to struggle. And when businesses struggle, they're gonna to have to lay off workers because they're gonna they're not gonna have as much money to physically spend to be able to pay their workers and that's where a lot of layoffs start to come in so the idea really is that because of all this reason and because we are still in this particular environment and because of that reason we are indeed starting to or not starting but we are indeed expected to continue seeing mass amounts of layoffs going forward into this for the rest of this year in 2024 but the good news is is that because inside of our economy there are already a lot of talks that they may start to cut interest rates relatively soon as well. So in other words, they're still high, but they're expected to cut relatively soon. It means that at least we're on the road to recovery. So it's still going to happen. We're still going to see mass layoffs, but there's going to be less of them. And as, as just mentioned is that at this current point in time, January 2024, we are already seeing still a lot of layoffs, but less layoffs than what was the case in January of 2023. And that's probably the most important thing to really be able to take away and really absorb about the situation to what's happening right now inside of our country.
It's also really, really important to keep in mind is, is that so many of the articles that you will read online focus so hard about the tech industry because tech just happens to be such a massive, big, blooming industry in today's world, in our economic times. But there are still also a lot of other industries that deserve as much attention, such as like in hospitality, construction, retail, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, everything in that particular world. There's just so financial, marketing, so many different jobs that exist out there. But this is really just to really lay it out about some personal thoughts about what it looks like collectively as a whole in our job market in general. So I think these are just some personal thoughts I really wanted to just share out there. And the idea really, again, as mentioned, is that at least we are on the road to recovery at the time that I'm speaking. Anything can change at any time. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell if you guys haven't done so already so we can release more videos as we get more information going forward from here. But at least this is the current story of what's being told right now at this particular time in just our country in general. But hopefully we're able to finally see even more recovery happen. So that being said, that's really what I really just wanted to share in today's video. So if you guys found that insightful, thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Leave a comment, consider subscribing, hitting the bell, smashing the like button, what you guys can decide. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.